Well, good morning. My name is Dean Prelatsi, and I'm the Managing Director of the BC Acceleration Network at BCIC. And welcome to Leapfrogging Innovation to Business Revolution. On behalf of the BC Innovation Council, it's truly a pleasure to be here as your MC this morning. I'd like to welcome all of you, and particularly everyone that's joining us from all corners of the province through a live stream. Welcome especially to you, and we'll do our best to keep the quality as high as possible on this side. Uh, again, if you're tweeting today, and I think uh, who isn't so far that I've been able to, to notice around the room, uh, hashtag VBOT and hashtag BC Tech Forum. BCIC is a crown agency of the provincial government and dedicated to developing and implementing initiatives that directly support the successful commercialization of technology leading to economic growth. At the end of the day, we are all about creating jobs and growing BC's technology sector. And we collaborate with and support a number of organizations throughout the province, our partners, to deliver programs and events that make this happen. Organizations like the Foresight Clean Tech Accelerator, Wavefront, Launch Academy, Accelerate Okanagan, Viatech in Victoria, Acetech, Innovation Island in Nanaimo, Kamloops Innovation, UBC, SFU, the list is a long one, so I'll stop there, but there is a number of organizations around the province that we partner with to really help push the envelope in technology. Overall, this focus helps us strengthen the diversification of BC's economy, first by growing the tech sector, and also by championing technology from BC companies into thriving BC industries like forestry, mining, oil and gas, agri-foods, for example. Technology that makes them more advanced, cleaner, safer, more productive, and ultimately more competitive on the global stage. After all, technology plays an integral role in virtually every sector of our economy. And today we hope to inspire you to think boldly about how to leverage technology even more to move the needle in your business. We'd like to thank the Vancouver Board of Trade because today we have the opportunity to reach outside our traditional audience, the tech sector, and into a more, broadly, uh, a more broad business audience affiliated with the Vancouver Board of Trade. And the tech sector's growth in BC is an important message, so we're happy to have you all here today to hear it. Uh, our desire is to help educate, inform, share stories, compare notes, lessons learned, and hopefully inspire you with opportunities um, that are at your fingertips with respect to innovation and innovating your companies. When we're done today, we'll know we've been successful if you walk away curious or ideally excited and committed to make innovation a strategic priority in your business and a strategic driver in your business. This goes beyond generating ideas. It's about taking steps outside your comfort zone to embrace innovation and an innovative mindset and to turn that energy into results. With that in mind, I'd ask you to turn your attention to the screen for some inspiration. Want to change the world? Want to be a leader? Break something. We've been told don't break what is broken. If it's safe, it doesn't need fixing. But those who build, those with vision know that there's no distinction between creation and destruction. Everything that ends is the beginning of something new. Watch how the quickness of an idea tears at the seams. Give it a name, let it live in another form. Sometimes rebirth can be violent. But no one says transformation was gentle. Break something. Crack open the surface of what could be. Rediscover curiosity. Vision is the catalyst for innovation. Passion is the fuel that builds momentum. Imagination is the blueprint for manifestation. So break something. Create within a cacophony of brilliant thinkers. This is where inspiration converges with capital, where we shatter the limits of what we thought could be. Pushing boundaries is the backbone of the city. Dare to be dynamic. Wear innovation like a second skin. Move fast in a community of movers and breakers in a mech of a global game changers. Your place is here. Your time is now. So break something. That video was produced by the Vancouver Economic Commission and supported by the Microsoft Vancouver Development Center and BCIC. Everything in featured in that video is an innovation, technology, product, or a site based in Vancouver or in BC. 
And ladies and gentlemen, ultimately that's why we're here today, because we believe innovation is a critical factor of success in today's 21st century economy and is a driver to help us survive and thrive in the businesses that we're operating. With that in mind, we're very fortunate to have a lineup of esteemed panelists, four of BC's and Canada's too for that matter, brightest shining stars as CEOs, all innovators and entrepreneurs in their own right. We're going to hear what they think about innovation and how they are innovating in their businesses to survive and thrive. Speaking of surviving and thriving, there's probably no more a hostile environment than the International Space Station, where life and death is separated every day by the power of technology and innovation, and of course, immense courage as well. So this morning, we're privileged to have as our keynote speaker, Commander Chris Hatfield, who will share with us some of his experiences and draw parallels between his experiences and the innovative capacity of, of businesses and the opportunities that are right there at your fingertips. We also wanted to have a little bit of fun today. Because we're trying to give you a sense of the tech sector, we want to show you how we roll in the tech sector. So there's no better way to do that than to expose you to the art of the pitch. You see, if you're not from the tech sector, you won't be aware of how big the pitch is in tech for tech startups. Um, they spend a lot of time repeatedly pitching their story to colleagues, investors, partners, customers, government funders, future employees, friends, enemies, advisors, future board members, incubators, accelerators, doctors, lawyers, especially lawyers, uh, and of course, their families too. When you're a tech startup, the success, your success depends on your ability to convince a lot of different people that you have a great idea or a great product. So a bit later, I'm going to have, give you a crash course on the positioning statement, a lesson all tech startups are all too familiar with in BC. I'm sure you'll likely be able to take something away with that to put into practice immediately. And then you'll hear a 90-second pitch from 15 local companies, all of whom have products and services that you can use today. These companies already have customers and are aggressively building their business, so we hope they can help you. And in return, you can help them by buying their products. Now, before I introduce the first speaker, Let's talk about innovation for a quick moment. As you might imagine, this is a vast topic, but for our purposes today, and to keep things simple, let's just say that innovation can take many forms, including the creation of new innovative products, whether on an incremental scale or a disruptive scale, or by adopting technology to re-engineer functions in your business to increase efficiencies, or by dreaming up new and unique business models. The list of how innovation can apply to your business is quite long. Let's take business model innovation for a moment. An article on this very topic really caught my attention a while ago, so in the spirit of kicking things off a little, uh, I wanted to share it with you. This information comes to us from the Boston Consulting Group. On the vertical axis, you will see total shareholder return of companies that innovate as a premium over their industry peers. So firstly, this graph shows us that firms that innovate outperform firms that don't innovate. Already a compelling message, but even more compelling, it shows us that firms whose innovative capacity is focused on business model innovation perform significantly better than those innovating in other ways. Here's an excerpt from the article. Our analysis showed that while both types of innovators achieved a premium over the average total shareholder return for their industries, Business model innovators earned an average premium that was more than four times greater than that enjoyed by product or process innovators. And the returns were more sustainable. Even after 10 years, business model innovators continued to outperform their competitors and product and process innovators. The article continues, many companies pursue business model innovation as a defensive move to protect a dying core business or defend against aggressive competitors. But we are convinced that BMI can be most powerful when it is approached proactively to explore new avenues of growth. And examples of business model innovation are all around us. Take a, Apple, for example, a well-known case study for all of us. Here's a company initially focused for the last decade on hardware and software. And by introducing the iPod and iTunes, they introduced a transformative or truly disruptive innovation in their business model. And we all know how that story ended. And there are numerous other examples. Okay, I'll stop there for a moment, but this is the type of dialogue, uh, one of the examples that we're hoping will emerge today. 